Hi. Um, sorry for that camera adjustment. My name's Nathan Wright. Um, have no clue uh, why I'm doing this, but I don't know. I have a lot of crap that's happened in my life, and I don't know if I can, you know, make it better for other people somehow or something. I don't know. This probably makes zero sense, and it probably sounds like I'm ranting or whatever. Um, but yeah, like, um, about me, um, I was raised in a really good home. Um, I had two parents who always loved me. I had a brother and two half sisters, and, and it's really great, and I love them to death. They're, they're great people. Um, yeah, it's. It's awesome. Um, there's this thing, though, inside of me that makes me sad because um, some stuff happened in my life, and it sucks. And I want to say stuff, you know, and I don't have a lot of people to talk to. Um, and so I guess, like, one thing, um, so, like, when I was in sixth grade, I had some stuff happen. Um, and then that made me really depressed. Um, and then through about seventh grade, um, it's around February and seventh grade, I, I decided I was going to try and kill myself. Um, my pastor at the time had reached out to me, though, and basically talked to my parents and whatnot. And he basically said, like, don't do this, you know, and, um, and a good buddy of mine, sort of one of the leaders on this on this trip that I was on, you know, kind of saved my life in a sense. Like he talked me off an emotional ledge, and that was insane. Um, I got some help for that time, and you know, worked out. And as a happy kid, I grew up in California until I was in about eighth grade, and then my parents told me we were moving to Arizona. Um, and I moved there, and it was hard because I didn't know anyone starting over again. Um, and I wasn't ready for that. Um, and so I lived there for about two years. And while I was in California before, my brother had become a lifeguard, and I really thought that was awesome, and I wanted to try out become a lifeguard. And so I just started swimming. I got on a swim team. I made some friends there. Um, but it was never, I was kind of a weird kid. I'll say it. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but people kind of made fun of me in ways that, like, I wouldn't get, I guess. I'd go over my head. Um, and I would suck. I, I hated that. And honestly, that made me pretty sad. Um, but also gave me a push to do something with my life and make myself better than I was. And make myself... Um, you know, something, you know, um, and so I did, I pushed really hard, and I, um, swam a lot, ran here and there, and started lifting, uh, sorry, started lifting weights, um, and I really enjoyed it, and then I finally, uh, tried out, and I became a lifeguard, and I made it through training, and training was really hard, um, and now I'm in and, and and it was great. I worked there for summer of 2016, and I worked there summer of 2017. Um, there was some stuff though. I I just wasn't happy with who I was, and I resigned. Um, that sucked because. Um, I resigned for some reason, and I still don't understand exactly why I resigned, but, um, well, I do. I, I, I made a mistake, and I had to resign, rather, um, and that sucked, um, because it was the one thing I really enjoyed, um, 
around the same time though I got into an EMT class and just started working really hard at that and I you know I'm still working really hard at that you know obviously this is my this is my second season after my second season I had to retire so after this last summer I had to retire or resign and um, I worked really hard I've been working really hard but it sucks it sucks because uh, I was a lifeguard at the beach um, and it was, and I was like, the one thing that I thought was awesome, I loved being a lifeguard, I loved doing things, I loved, uh, you know, driving, driving the units, you know, and screwing around with the lights, and, you know, it was just, it was a lot of fun, and, it, and I really, really enjoyed it, but at the same time, my happiness, I started to realize, was superficial, um, sorry, the camera's really shaky. I'm using my computer and you know, I'm photo booth and I don't know. And, you know, I, it, and it's been really hard. Um, and sometimes I don't know if I'm a good, you know, I don't know. And I'm also stressed out because... I want to become a paramedic, I want to become a firefighter, but at the same time, I don't know why or how, rather, and it's all going to happen. I'm working really hard on it, but I know the steps I need to take, but it's just it's so far off, and senior year is hectic and stressful, and yeah, but... I don't know. I found such like little small joys in life lately that have been tremendous for me. Um, like hanging out with people, meeting new people. Um, like just people are really nice, and I try to be a nice person. I think that helps a lot. But it's hard to be a nice person when you aren't nice to yourself. And who knows? Um, yeah, I, I don't really know why I started doing this, but hey, I'll try it. Um, yeah. So that's probably not helpful to anyone, but just... If you're nice to people, good things are gonna happen. And I, I don't. And I'm not seeing quite. I haven't quite seen everything that's worked out through that, quite yet. But I'm sure it will because that's the way things work. Be nice to people. Don't kick them when you're down. Uh, there's a kid in my class, and I just started talking to him, and he's a really nice kid. And at first, I just kind of like had messed around, and he goes. At the end, he's like, of class day, he's like, hey, man, you're pretty chill. I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know, like, that's that's sick to me. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, just be nice to people, and you will succeed. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's it. I don't know if this helps anyone, but yeah. See ya.